Hi, everyone. Welcome to the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences, or CAFES for short. We're so excited to tell you a little more about our college and Cal Poly as a whole. Today, we have four of our CAFES ambassadors here to tell you guys everything we love about Cal Poly. So CAFES has nine departments, 15 majors, and 23 minors. And we will now introduce ourselves to let you know what those majors, what majors we are part of. So my name is Beth Knoll. I'm a fourth year agricultural science major with a dairy industries minor. I come from Humboldt County in NorCal. And on campus, I'm involved in Sigma Alpha, Los Lucheros Dairy Club, and Agricultural Leadership Society. Peyton, would you like to introduce yourself next? Of course. Hi, everyone. My name is Peyton Pichol. I am a third year agricultural communication major with an agribusiness minor. Um, on campus, I'm involved with the CAFE's ambassadors, as well as Sigma Alpha Professional Ag Sorority um, and Agricultural Leadership Society. And then I also work on campus um, at the Bioresource and Agricultural Engineering Department. Go ahead, Andrew. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Arroyo. I'm a second year agribusiness major with a fruit science minor. I come from Santa Paula, California, which is down south near Ventura and Santa Barbara. On campus, I'm involved in CAFE's Ambassadors, the Agribusiness Management Club, and I'm also a residential advisor on campus. And Marley. Hello again. I'm Marley Solisto. I'm a fourth year agricultural business major and ag education minor from the Salinas Valley, so just two hours north of SLO. On campus, I'm involved with CAFE's Ambassadors, uh, the Western Bonanza Junior Livestock Show, Cal Poly Tractor Pull, and the Agribusiness Management Club. Perfect. So to start us off, Marley, can you tell us what Learn by Doing looks like within CAFE's? So CAFES is very learn by doing focused. We are always doing stuff very hands-on and real world experiences are everywhere. Um, one big thing in CAFES is enterprises. So one of the enterprises I was involved in was the swine enterprise. So we basically got to take care of little piglets all the time. Uh, we got to learn how to give shots, how much to feed different hogs, um, learn the whole process. So basically, these enterprises function as their own businesses. So you really get to learn the behind the scenes of what goes on in perhaps a dairy or at a um, orchard, how those operations are run from the ground up. And there's all these different opportunities to work there as well as take the enterprises classes that work out at these different agricultural related units. So that's a huge component of learn by doing in cafes and I highly recommend that if you have an opportunity to, you should take one of the enterprises because they are everyone's favorite experience. Andrew, what does Learn by Doing look like for you? Learn by Doing for me has been a big aspect as to why I chose Cal Poly over other universities. Really that opportunity to immerse myself within my major. Agribusiness isn't a very hands-on major opposed to Bray and Ag Systems Management, where you're working with more mechanical things. But with Ag Business, you really get the opportunity to look at different softwares within the sales industry, marketing, and anything really that has to do with business and agriculture. Additionally, there's other opportunities for myself. I took a soil science class, and it was really interesting to look at different soil samples and compare which one would be optimal for growth. Uh, within different types of crops in different climates and see which one performs the best. And Peyton, what about you? So there's lots of opportunities to get involved within your classes and clubs and things like that. But another opportunity that students have is to get involved with faculty-led research or projects. Um, this has been a huge impact on my Learn By Doing experience. I have professors who I'll have in a class and then they're like, hey, I'm gonna do a podcast. Do you wanna come help me with it? And then I learn about all the equipment and I get to actually talk on the podcast and be a part of the entire experience. So those opportunities are extended to you just by your connections, your networks that you make at Cal Poly. And Learn By Doing for me has been taking blood samples of broiler chickens, helping to artificially inseminate dairy cattle, um, building wood boxes, driving tractors, 
uh, practicing data on Excel sheets, so many things and so many opportunities to learn by doing within cafes. So moving on to the next thing, what does advising look like within cafes? So cafes has their own academic advising center and each department is assigned a um, academic advisor so that they can turn to with any questions about registration or internships or studying abroad, um, planning out graduation and all of that. And so that academic advisor is um, always available for you. And they also have peer advisors so that are available for drop-in hours. So I actually serve as a peer advisor for cafes. So whenever students need help, they can just drop into our office and you can get help pretty fast or email or call us. So academic advising is very helpful and available within the College of Ag, Food and Environmental Sciences. Peyton, how accessible are, are our faculty? <laughs> So I come from a really small school. Um, so coming to Cal Poly, I was very nervous about meeting all these professors and being in large lecture halls, but kind of Cal Poly and specifically the College of Agriculture is the opposite of that. We have some very small class sizes. So you get to build relationship with professors. And then you have those professors for multiple classes throughout your college career. And I've had prep professors quarters before that I will go to even now when I don't have a class with them because that's their area of expertise and I need help with that. And they are so willing to help you with anything that you need. Even if you have never had the professor and you know that they are um, an expert in that field and you're interested in that, they're like, please reach out to me, come to my office hours, come talk to me. And it's just been a really, really great experience with all of the Cal Poly professors. Thank you, Peyton. And Marley, what are the alumni connections like in this college? So Cal Poly alumni love cafes. Um, they're always willing to pitch in a helping hand, whether that's through sponsors or attending events or just building connections with students and helping them out, get their foot in the door in the industry. Um, so a lot of times alumni will come back for huge events like Poly Royal and they love to see students in action working these events. Um, they also just love coming to speak at like club meetings, things like that, um, where students get to hear how their Cal Poly experiences helped them in the real world um, and their journey to where they are today. They're always wanting to show support. They're constantly being involved, whether that's uh, being a sponsor for an event or coming out and helping set up things or just interacting with students. So they genuinely love Cal Poly and it's neat to see that and be like, oh, one day I'm going to be a part of that alumni field. Um, and they're just the best. And Andrew, can you tell us about some of the job and internship opportunities you've had? And then Peyton, can you as well? Yeah, so every school year, the Agribusiness Management Club hosts uh, Ag Showcase, which is an event for all cafes majors where we're located in the shop and many, many, many industry professionals and companies come out to this event annually and offer internships and jobs and just really any type of connections and experience for students within our college. I personally, my first year, got an internship with the JM Smucker Company. So I got to come out to Oxnard, California and serve as their intern field operations and grower representative. Through my internship, I got to work with growers of the strawberry industry, especially in Oxnard and Santa Maria. I got to do daily estimate, uh, estimates of crates and send out emails as to how much fruit we should be expecting on a daily basis and have estimates throughout the rest of the month so that we can plan accordingly on how many people will need at the plant to process all of the strawberries. So it was really interesting to see how our food goes from fields to plate and especially in the grocery stores when you're buying any Smucker's products. So I really enjoyed my internship and I know you guys will score an internship as well. So the internships experience for me has been slightly similar. Um, first off, our professors and faculty members are great resources for finding internships. Most departments send out a weekly newsletter with lots of um, internship and job opportunities for students to kind of look into. That's actually how I got one of my internships as a social media person for the National Association of Farm Broadcasting. Um, and then I also have an internship for this summer. And the way I got that was connecting with one of our guest speakers, lots of clubs and 
um, and classes, bringing guest speakers, and they want to connect with students. And so I con connected with one of those guest speakers, and I am going to be interning for her over the summer. Thank you, Peyton and Andrew. And then there's also opportunities for you to have jobs on campus working at any of our units. I work at the Strawberry Center. People work at the Dairy Unit, Equine Unit, Horticulture Unit. Um, lots of ways to have an on-campus job as well, especially related to your major um, or something else. So there's also lots of research opportunities that CAFES has to offer, even as undergraduate students. Um, some of those are through our units, like at the Strawberry Center, we have an entomology lab and a pathology lab. Um, and lots of students also do research projects for their senior project, which you need to do to graduate. And um, lots of professors are able to reach out to students that have been especially helpful in class with discussions and stuff. And they ask to also help with research. So my two roommates who graduated dairy science and animal science helped one of our professors, Dr. Bagnoni, with a research project. And then they ended up getting published before they even graduated from Cal Poly. So that was really exciting. Um, Marley, do you wanna tell us a little bit about the clubs we have within cafes? Sure. So there is a ridiculous amount of clubs in cafes, <laughs> but also throughout Cal Poly as a whole. So something really cool is during your first quarter at Cal Poly, there will be a bunch of booths set up in the parking lot. And basically you go around and put your name on every single email list. I know I am still on like 50 email lists and I'm involved in like five clubs now, uh, four or five. Um, but these clubs are awesome to gain experiences outside of your major. So personally, as an ag business major, I am for some reason in the tractor pull club. Do I have any idea how to work on the tractors? No. Do I have fun helping plan our annual Poly Royal event? Yes. And I love being a part of that and learning the different aspects of the industry that I otherwise would not know about. Um, so there's clubs in every area, basically. And if there's not, you can always make a club and have a professor oversee it. Um, but the clubs are great ways to expand your learn by doing. I think I have learned just as much through clubs as I have through classes. That's where you really put into practice those real world skills and um, they're great resume builders. You have a lot of leadership uh, opportunities and you meet a lot of cool people, especially if you do clubs outside of your major, you're meeting people throughout cafes, throughout Cal Poly, um, and you're just building your network for when you leave Cal Poly. Thank you, Marley. Andrew, do you have anything to add on clubs? Yeah, I think Marley did an excellent job covering anything about clubs. Uh, but one thing I'd like to input is at Cal Poly, like Marley mentioned, there is a whole lot of clubs. And if there isn't a club, you can definitely start one. It's a relatively easy process. As long as you have an advisor and a couple of members willing to show up to your meetings, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I personally enjoyed attending club meetings, especially as a first year uh, last year, because most clubs offer food. So that's a great way to uh, fill your stomach when you're on a budget as a first year student, especially if you overspend your dining dollars. So definitely join clubs, build networks, and have fun. Enjoy your time at Cal Poly. And there are tons of resources for students as well. Um, and underrepresented students, we have the MAP Center, which is a multicultural agricultural program, which is used as a study space with a place with peer mentors um, and also resources to get free scantrons and pencils and laptops. And um, there is printers there that you can use as well. So that is a really nice resource. We also have our own chapter of manners, which is the minorities in agriculture and natural Natural Resources and Related Sciences chapter at Cal Poly. So Manners is, Manners is a national organization. We actually have the undergrad president, Giselle, as a student at Cal Poly. Um, other resources that underrepresented students have, we did a first generation program through our CAFE's Dean's Office. Our CAFE's Dean's Office also has their own DEI committee and many clubs are developing DEI representatives as well. Um, and so those are just some of the resources that CAFES has to offer on top of different scholarships and um, financial aid programs as well. Peyton, can you talk about different graduate programs we have? Of course. Beth. So first off, we have four Master's of Sciences degrees, um, a Master's in Food Science, Nutrition, Environmental Sciences and Management, 
and agriculture. And the master's in agriculture has eight different specializations that you can choose from, which are bioresource and agriculture systems, animal science, crop science, dairy products and technology, environmental horticulture science, irrigation, plant protection science, and water engineering. So our graduate students really get the full learn by doing experience that the undergraduate students re receive, some similar to what we've been talking about um, alongside their research and working alongside faculty members with their research. Thank you, Peyton. And um, Marley, if you want to start us off, what do students do for fun within cafes? I feel like this is a hard question because there's just so much fun stuff to do in San Luis Obispo in general. Um, but specifically to cafes, I think one of the funnest things for me has been uh, taking advantage of being involved in clubs and using those club connections to make friends. Um, and then just doing random stuff with your friends. Like you have no idea how fun it is to be up till like 3 a.m. planning an event with like all of your club friends. It's honestly a great experience <laughs> or like going to different like conventions is always a really fun time. So a lot of us have gotten to go to FFA state conference together. And even though we're there to represent Cal Poly, we have a blast um, or like World Ag Expo, things like that. Um, so just making lots of friends throughout your clubs and doing different activities with them and putting on events together. And it's just a great bonding experience because you're all exhausted and you're having a fun time while putting on this awesome event. Um, so I think that's my favorite fun thing I've done through cafes. Andrew, what do you think is fun to do within cafes? So I've never stayed up until 3 a.m. to plan a club event, but some of the things that I do for fun, uh, not just in cafes, but in Cal Poly, is I like to go on hikes. There's so many hiking trails in San Luis Obispo and around uh, Slow County, which it's super simple to just get up one morning and go for a hike. There's short hikes and longer hikes. So really whatever you're interested in, it's there. The beach is also 15 minutes away from campus. So that's really nice. And on Thursdays, the farmer's market in downtown Slow is definitely a big hit. And if you enjoy riding bikes, the first Thursday of every month is bike night. So that's always fun. And there's also so many mom and pop shops that you can visit and restaurants uh, if you're a food connoisseur like myself. Peyton, what about you? So within cafes, one of my favorite things to do slash favorite memories um, is working um, within the college. There are so many job opportunities. And while that doesn't sound like, like a super fun thing, you really get to meet a lot of really cool people and make some connections and then work in whatever you love or learn a new thing. Like so many people come to Cal Poly having never stepped foot on a dairy and become milkers like when they're at Cal Poly. And it's just a really cool experience. And then you make tons of friends because they're all students that are working these things. Yeah, I was kind of gonna touch on that a little bit too. I think a lot of my favorite memories are like getting called out to the dairy at two in the morning to help with a calf or like having a friend who works at one of the units saying like, I really need help, Can what are you doing right now? Can you come help me? Like this last weekend, my friend was working on his senior project at the Strawberry Center and he asked if I could just come help him pick berries because it was really hot and he was very tired. <laughs> um, so just fun things like that. I also love hiking. I love going to hammock at the beach and I love going downtown on Thursdays to farmer's market. Um, another question for all of our ambassadors, what is the biggest piece of advice you have for students entering this college and what should you expect as a first year? Peyton, do you wanna start on that one? Of course. So my biggest piece of advice outside of get a job on campus is to readily utilize your professors as resources. They are there for you. They're not as scary as you might think they are. <laughs> um, they really want you to succeed. So you should go see them in their office hours. Andrew, what about you? Um, my biggest piece of advice would be to just simply get involved. Uh, I touched on it earlier, but at Cal Poly, there's literally anything and everything for everyone. So you'll definitely find your group uh, depending on your interests. There's people at Cal Poly who share similar interests. 
So networking with people, meeting different people and taking advantage of everything Cal Poly has to offer would be my biggest piece of advice. And by Marley. So I'm having trouble deciding which piece of advice is the biggest. So I'm gonna say two. Uh, the first one is don't be afraid to take an advantage of an opportunity if you don't have a background in it. I have so many friends who went and joined uh, Western Bonanza, the junior livestock show, and they had never seen a pig in their life. And then a couple years later, they are the swine chair. Just little things like that. Like everyone's wanting to help you. Like if you did not grow up on a dairy, like Peyton said, like that doesn't mean you can't become a milker. Um, everyone who did grow up in that background wants to teach you the ropes, show you how things are done and always ask questions. Uh, the professors, everyone wants to answer those questions. They love when they get new students with fresh ideas into their classes, into their clubs. Um, and those are just great opportunities that you should not be afraid to take advantage of. And then another big tip that I know was a big shocker for me going in my freshman year was college is hard and it's okay to fail. I remember in my first quarter, I got a C in a business law class, which was a support class for my ag business major. And I had never gotten below an A minus in my life. So this was like a, oh my goodness, I'm freaking out moment. And four years later, I am totally fine. That is like the class I am the most proud of because I know I worked my butt off to study. Um, and I use it in interviews all the time when they ask like, what's your proudest accomplishment? I tell them, I got to see. Like that's my biggest moment, I feel like. So just not being afraid of taking advantage of unique opportunities and not being afraid to fail. That is awesome. Yeah, I just want to ditto what everyone just said. Um, I think that something that made my cafes experience so special is I did live in the cafe specific, specific dorm housing. That's where I met Marley. Um, and it really creates this great community for you of everyone in your college who chose to live in the cafes dorms and you're helping each other with classes and you're walking to club meetings together. And it really did create a sense of family um, at Cal Poly, even though I was eight hours away from home. And I think that was just really special. Um, and join all the clubs, get the free food, like Andrew mentioned. But the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences has become a home for a lot of us. And we are super stoked about all the opportunities that we've created for ourselves within cafes. Um, and all the connections is open to us and all the learn by doing we have been able to experience. And we appreciate you watching this video to learn a little bit more about the College of Agriculture, Food and Environmental Sciences. Thanks. Hi there, my name is Rafael. I'm a fourth year journalism transfer student with a minor in Spanish and my pronouns are he, him, his. Thank you for watching the video. Please share any questions or comments you have down below in the comment section and go ahead and click here to subscribe. And to watch more videos, click here. If you want to sign up for a virtual visit or talk to any student or staff members, check out our website. Link in the description. Thank you for watching.